Hey guys, welcome to part two of part one of the 1965 baseball cards. Um, I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams left. Uh, let's get to it. After that, I'll do all the good good cards, in my opinion. Um, wait, this is never mind. Forget it. Forget you saw the card. Um, we got Giants, Gaylord Perry, Hal Landlier, uh, Top All Star rookie. Ron Herbal, 65 rookie stars, Dick Castelli, and however you want to pronounce his name, I don't know, but it's probably really cool. I mean, he's he's probably one of the first, you know, Asian players. I don't know if he's born in America. Really don't know, um, but that's just really cool. Um, I got Harvey Kuhn, Orlando Cepeda. I think he could be good. Maddie Alou, Bobby Bolin, Al Stanky. And Del Carandel. Okay. Next we'll do we got Houston Astros. We got Larry Yellen, Al Spangler, Bob Asperomi, Lum Harris, Jim Wynn, Bob Bruce, Ron Brand, Ken Johnson, Turk Farrell, Mike Coolier, Rusty Staub, and Matthews, and another Rusty Staub. Rusty Staub. Uh, okay, next. What is this stuff? Okay, that's where that was. Figured out where that random card went. Okay, next we'll do Senators. We got Barry Moore, Paul Casanova, Willie Kirkland, uh, Nick Wilhitty, Steve Ridzinick, Rids Ridzik, Ken McMullen, Woody Hield, Les Narum, Gil Hodges, Steve Stenhouse. Don Blasting Game, uh, Jim King, and Car Cisco Carlos. Alright, next we got Red Sox, Bob Hefner, Dick Red Rad Atz, Bill something, Chuck Schilling, Bill Spenswick, Frank Malzone, Don Pekalovich, I don't know. Uh, Rico something, Felix something, and Bob Tillman. Alright, last, I got two teams left. We'll save the Yankees for last. Uh, we got Cardinals here, Ken Boyer, Bob Gibson, first place National League team card, Mike Shannon, Barry Barney Schultz, Tracy Stallard, Jose Cardinal, Mike Coolier, it's weird because like, I've seen his card with so many different teams. Yeah, Mike Coolier, Alex Johnson, Tito Francoa, Kona, Bob Humphreys, Tim McCarver, and Gibson Gibson wins finale uh, World Series card. Uh, last, we got Yankees. We got Johnny Keane, Villains, Steve Hamilton. Uh, 65 rookie stars, Alvo Jimenez and Jake Gibbs, uh, Pete Mickelson, Bobby Richardson, Pedro Ramos, Whitey Ford, I was told he's a good player, I don't really know, Pedro Gonzalez, Forrest Clark, Dudley Womack, Yankee 67 rookie stars, Stan Ben Hansen, I don't know, and I keep forgetting this guy's first name, Bill Bob Bruce. It is Bobby Mercier, who is good, I think. Don't really know. Hal Reniff is the last card. Okay, next I'll do the doubles. We got um, Gus Trandos, Jerry Adar, Larry Miller, checklist, third series unchecked, four series checklist unchecked, and fifth series. I think as far as centering on the checklists, the third series is the best one. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to go through all these again and see if I got any more doubles. Alright, next is going to be the good cards. So, uh, well, they're not all, you know, they could not, all of them probably aren't all that good, but I just think they're cool. We got these old booklet cards, I'll show you one of them. We got Mike Coolier, The Willie May Story. Um, this is book that number one, and it goes to 24. Um, we'll show you the Bob Moose story. 
Um, basically what it is is it's just like a mini comic book. It's just really sweet because I think, I think my dad said that they came in the packs way back when. Um, don't really know what year these are from. But just the thought that you know how many of these are how many of these are still around is just it's just cool. Um, let's see next. Let's see how am I gonna do this? I got more checklists for you guys. Let's see. We'll put. Okay. I'll just show. Do it like that. I've um, got checklist series two, series five, series four, and series three. Um, yeah, not really much show on those. They're just checklists. Next, we got this Tribe Thumpers. I don't know if it's good. I just put it in here. Uh, Leon Wagner and Ricky Rocky Colavanto. Pretty sweet card. Um. Oh yeah, and those are for last. We got this. Uh, I think it's Jim Maloney uh, for the Reds. This card is a little is a little damaged. It's been bent. Um, but these are from 1970. This is cool. I didn't know that they did like 3D cards. You probably can't really tell. Um, I got a better one in there though that we'll show you. Next we got this 64 strikeout leaders. Uh, Bob Viel, Bob Gibson, and Don Drysdale. I think I think it's because Don Drysdale is really good. Um, next is the champs. We got Frank Robinson, Hank Bauer, and Brooks Robinson. For Baltimore Orioles, that's a sweet card. And the centering's for the most part really good. Corners are nice. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I don't know what I'm what what I should get graded. Um, so if anyone knows anything, let me know. Um, next you have this Johnny Bench card. I'm guessing it's from 1970. Centering's the centering's you know really bad on it. I think um, it looks good from behind. Um, but yeah, it's 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 bad right here, but still it's Johnny Bench, really cool card. Next we got this one is just my favorite, just because the centering is like perfect and it's just a sweet looking card. Willie McCovey for the Giants. Um, yeah, corners are like perfect on it. Um, if I do get some graded, you know, I might get this one. I don't really know. Um, next we got a sweet card. We got 64 ERA leaders, Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale. Um, just a sweet card. Sandy Koufax is the bomb. So yeah. Next is uh, this one's really sweet too. Um, uh, Houston Colt 45s 1965 rookie stars. We got Joe Morgan and Sonny Jackson. Um, real sweet card. Corners are like perfect. Um, yeah. So that's that card. And this is probably the best one out of the bunch. We got this Bob Clemente Pirates card. Centering could be better. Um, but still, overall, which is when I saw this, I was just like, holy crap, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, corners are pretty nice. I mean, for, I mean, you know. He had these in rubber bands somewhere, and you know the fact that they're not as bad as they could be. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I do have two more. I guess I did this out of order, but oh well. We'll just do this one next. We got um, Pete Ward, just kind of golden card. I know these aren't worth very much, but still, it's cool. Um, and this one's uh, the other 3D card that was, but this one's in, is like perfect shape. Doesn't even look like anything happened to it. It's uh, Frank Robinson for the Orioles, 3D card from 1970. And next, um, I'll just quick do these. Um, these are cards were like iron-ons that would come in the packs, and it's just a bunch of people I don't know, and and I can't find anything on them. But if you guys know something, let me know. It'd be really really appreciated. If you do, um, but yeah, they're, they're just cool, really sweet looking cards. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Um, subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace, everyone.